This is Twit. This is the Spire Studio. I love it. It's a multi. It's a little digital multi-track box. I can take it's like eight eight tracks. If you're a musician, you can just layer tracks really quickly. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because they finally released an Android version, probably about a year since I first talked about this on the network, and it just came out. So it's a, I, I have to say it's a little buggy. Although I got a an update earlier and it fixed some of the problems, but I thought I'd show it off real quick. Uh, the user interface you can definitely tell. Like I've used the iOS version of this. On, on an iPad in order to use the Spire Studio. Um, and so the, OS, the, the uh, UI on this is definitely a little bit different, but you can see these are all the songs that are stored on the hard drive right now. In order to actually get into one, it needs to kind of load it over, and it's, it takes a while because these are eight solid tracks of audio that it's kind of bringing over, and it's essentially syncing up the phone so that it can control all of the... Um, all the multi-track stuff that's happening on the Spire Studio that I have right here. And so it links it up. Uh, like I said, there was, a, there was a little bit of an update, uh, a firmware update when this finally released. Prior to that, I was getting some, some choppy playback on the songs that were stored on here. And now, uh, now it should be good to go, knock on table. But anyway, so you can see the UI, the interface here. This is a full eight-track recorded song. Um, that I actually recorded in a cabin a couple of days ago. I did the Bon, bon Iver thing and went to a cabin and, and recorded nice. some music. And I had a I had a blast that night. Um, but the layout is definitely a little bit different. You can see there's a little tray down here that you can slide up. So you can, right now, monitoring is on. That means that this microphone on the Spire is, is active. I'm going to block that out so that it will cut that out so that I don't blast you, Victor. Uh, you can go into the recording effects and it has all the, uh, the effects. You know, you've got a bunch of different amps if you want to put, you know, plug a guitar into the unit. I've uh, got a bunch of like reverb and delays and stuff, pedals, all that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of fun to, stuff to play around with. Keep in mind that all the actual stuff that's happening in here is happening on the hardware. This is really just kind of like a user interface for it and it's synced up, um, synced up to it. And then you can kind of go into any of these tracks and re-record. You can see the, the levels kind of bouncing. When I tap on a track, it's bouncing. I get more information here if I want to trim out some noise beforehand or delete the track or just mute it entirely. Uh, I can do that. And then uh, let's see here. And then you've got your mix page. And this is where you take all of the sources and you can kind of play around with the stereo field, this being center, left, and right, and bring it up in volume, bring it down in volume, kind of span it all out. And uh, it hopefully, is it playing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We so, can hear it. and you can kind of, you know, you can skip around. If I wanted to like punch in right here, I could hit that and then hit record. And now it's recording. And so I can just kind of like jump in and record and then stop and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and undo that because I don't want to ruin the song. Uh, but anyways, I, I'm just really happy that they finally paid attention to uh, to Android. I knew that they were working on it, that they would do it eventually. It was a surprise to me today that they finally got it, and I always love, you know me, I always love the, uh, the professional audio stuff finally hitting Android, and they did a really good job with this. It's a great start. It is missing some things, though. On the iOS version, you can actually assign tracks little icons that denote what it is, so you could make this a guitar logo, make this a drum logo, or whatever, and then that makes, when you go into the mix, it makes it a little easier to know what you're playing with and everything. Uh, but for a first version, I think they've done a pretty good job, and of course, you can import uh, other projects you can export out to multiple tracks and then share that with somebody or export out to a single audio track to be shared to like SoundCloud or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm happy that it's on Android finally. It's called Spire Studio and it's a cool little multi-track mixing uh, and recording uh, interface environment to go along with the Spire Studio hardware. Good job to Isotope for finally releasing this. I'm really happy they did. Spire Studio.